Oh no, not Inland <laughs> Empire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not the IE. So this is going to be a very interesting match because it's going to be I'm Hibs, Olimar against most likely what is going to be Nitro's Sonic. I, yeah. I'm expecting the Sonic to come out for this set, even though we've been Possible? Playing. Because uh, I do respect if Nitro goes Sonic, but one thing to note about Richter and his Holy Water, his specific Holy Water over Simon's is he's actually able to power through the Pikmin. Uh, as compared to Simon's, where Simon's just the Pikmin are able to go through. So that's something that Richter has access to, is a bit of an extra wall over the Pikmin. It's quite uh -huh. more useful. But I do know Nitro might be a little bit of a so yeah, the Richter's okay. the best choice. All right, well. Just, and that's just one it. thing, you know, obviously. But, I mean, we've been seeing Nitro's Richter yeah. tremendous. I, I feel like just his sign would have an easier time dealing with the, the walls that, that I think were throwing up. But like you were saying, Holy Fire uh, does interact with all the Pikmin yeah. because it is aura base. Uh, so it looks like we're actually just going to see two donors go at it. Okay, I like it. Emilio just trying to keep my I'm hip into the corner. Nitro going for Nutra just to get rid of the Pikmin. Aw, oh, man, but the more he spends off time the stage, that boom will deal damage. See how that works, right? He's not all right, not able to get in and start dealing damage to Pikmin immediately. That's how the game is registered uh Rickner's Holy Water is the aura. That's right. Now, he can use the Holy Cross to to cut through uh, a lot of Pikmin at once because it doesn't stop until it reaches Mark. Yeah. Or it comes back like a boomerang. Important to note though, it doesn't like angle like one boomerang, but it's still really good. Oh, it's a power throw. I'm sorry. It's the uh, very unfortunately that's going to come back towards Nitro. Nitro, I've been able to make the moves here. So far, I have knows, you know, I have to play the patient game, and I'm going to have to wait for the end line of each move to come in. That's right. See, Nitro was it making some ground approaching with the holy fires into holy uh, into the cross, and it was a uh, it was taking a lot of Pikmin out along the way. But uh, I'm hit with able to bait him, beat Nitro with him, and fight him with the back air or the side B. And that damage just continues to rack onto Nitro. Yeah. Ah, uh, nice. Able to able to get on that platform and stop I'm hit. Goes for an empty hop, not finding much. That yellow Pikmin has attached himself up throw. I'm hit getting stock one of game one between him and Nitro. I mean, I'm hip and his Pikmin must be really happy about that. They're all raising their hands in the air. They were pretty happy. Okay, back throw. Nitro now setting himself for a possible edge guard here. This is what uh, is all likes to call the edge phase here. Pretty important when it comes at the cool closing stocks. That spaced back air though. I like how he's still able to angle it though. I like the I like the patient play coming out from right here. He knows that he's in the lead. Yes, Nitro is his owner. He is trying to set up his own trap, but he was playing the patient game, making sure that Nitro had to approach. Nitro was able to get his favorite conversion, which is fully fire the end snipe at the ledge uh, to take the stock. But at the same time, now we're gonna see uh, what I'm hoping is a much more aggressive on this. Of aggression, he needs that jump get up coming up from Nitro. Nitro still able to recover with that angled forward air. Okay, it lights up. Yep, setting up the trap, throwing it across in an opposite direction. I mean, when it comes back, it's not gonna stop. Nice, up you out of shield. Cross, kind of holding my pick in place on the ledge. Nitro looking to make great item plays, but that fire pick when attached to him and that up throw yet again. The same scenario with the last dock. I mean, that was the same exact setup that we saw on the first dock. And like I was saying when uh, in the previous set, you gotta be careful of what I'm his order is. You see, the blue Pikmin is is next in line. You can't be throwing out options that will that can be punched for grab. Yeah. All right. I'm kind of down to two Pikmin. Can you get a another pull here? I like it. Just runs away and finds the time to pull out yellow Pikmin here. Of course, Nitro setting himself up on the ledge in a down air connecting for I'm hit. A lot of damage connecting. Holy fire to F-Snatch in that position isn't going to take the stock just yet. Okay, I like it. Empty hops here, not able to find much, but goes for the upside. I'm still holding shield. Nitro playing from behind. 5%, but not even stocks. There's the whole getup coming up from him. He's able to safely jab just for a second. That's right. Moving around the fire and the X. Dropping down for some, some uh, off-stage aggression. 
Wait, that's continue for Nitro. Oh, he will just barely get away from Nitro's setup there. Oh, wow, wow. he didn't listen to parry, man. He even knew where the hitbox was going to be. That's some next level play, and the back air will seal game one for Anya. Wow, so a lot of back and forth on that game one. A lot of projectiles that I haven't seen thrown all over that. You like know the audience at Pokemon Stadium was like, I don't know what these Pokemon are, <laughs> but uh, they're pretty lit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like you said, um, the Belmonts kind of throw everything but the kitchen sink at you. And at that point, Nitro was just... I mean, it's it's one of those deals where like I knew like, hey, he just wants to throw in holy water, find follow-ups that's going to kill some of my Pikmin. Let me just space myself. Uh, I feel like there was no pattern from Nitro, right? He was just tossing up these projectiles to set up the top of, top of the plays here. Tossing the cross away, maybe going in towards Olimar. I want to see Nitro kind of tone it down a little bit. I feel like he was trying to control, but sometimes he went aggressive at the wrong time. Whenever I'm, I'm just moving around and it looks like he has a lot of Pikmin out, the hood, the cross is a good option because it was like hitting them and kind of taking them out. Uh, but at the same time, while you're taking out the Pikmin, it wasn't doing any damage on his. And he was taking these trades in those situations. Okay. Nitro is just trying to send himself the possible forward arrow or forward till here. And again, setting up the cross to the holy water. Uh, and Nitro is showing that he's aware that I'm just going for those for a option after the holy fire goes out. Uh, I kind of like that Orochi was trying to read the, the platform behind him there. He was going to land with Lucha Air, but of course that didn't stop him in the way of a second. Right. Looking for the air option, but he's taking so much damage along the way while he's trying to force Ainish into a trap. I kind of, I was going to say, I like, he, I like that he's using his uh, axe uh, when he can do that. He's like off stage. Okay. Oh. Down smash connected from Ainish uh, for Ainish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, forward smash with a little bit of startup lag. That's important to notice there. Coming out from breaking the Belmonts. Uh, forward smash takes a bit of a second to start up. Using get up, avoiding all those options, those, uh, those items being thrown at him. Now he's chasing down. Retaking stage control. Able to get those two hits of down tilt, such as the holy water. No forward smash because of Rhymes being a little too low. Tossing everything but the kitchen sink here. Kind of surprised that he didn't throw the F man, even with I'm hit being that low. Can yeah. He, can't he angle it down? Yeah, I was going to say, like, you're right. At that situation, I kind of want to see Nitro maybe angle it down. I don't know if he probably has tried the scenario between him and I'm hit, but not been successful. Now, regardless, uh, I'm hit is just extending his lead, already uh, lapping Nitro in percent. I like it, I like it, because at that point, he spot dodged knowing how behind his response is going to be. Sets it across the other direction, giving him a little bit of unsafe security there. Unsafe security, my bad. Okay, now we see Nitro slowly approaching from the ledge, and I'm hip let him. I'm hip has let Nitro take stage control, or at least center stage. Um, but he knows that even though he has center stage, he's not putting any damage on him. Yeah. He's not doing him any good. He's just tossing his projectiles to kind of what it feels like an empty space. And I'm just going to be like, okay, if you want to do that in there, I will stand away and you can have fun. The worst part is, like, while Nitro is, like, slowly pushing into the stage, he's taking damage while these Pikmin are left under him. Yeah. Even right there, you know, Blue Pikmin is still on you. It's, it's kind of like Nitro is taking it slow and steady and trying to make control plays. But the problem is once the Pikmin find their mark there, they're able to do damage over time. And that kind of forces I to get a little bit of a victory. See right there, it's doing damage. And so far, Nitro hasn't been able to just get them off. Even that Nair wasn't enough to really push that white Pikmin off. And that's where uh, Olimar is getting all his mileage. Okay, so we see what I I'm his game plan is, but what can Nitro do about this? Oh no! Even right there, like, I'm Hip had such a good read that he was going to use the telegraph. Even if he didn't use the telegraph, uh, the purple big one was covering that recovery option. There was nothing that Nitro could do then. I felt it's like, time for Sun. Yeah, I don't know. I felt that Nitro at that point, like when he was at the ledge, maybe he should, they were obviously hanging yeah. for a second. So just give it a second yeah. because, like you said, you know, he was going to toss in those Pikmin. Give it one more second. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so happy she got her uh, the Mango 2GG shirt, limited edition by the way. It's time for Sonic. It's 
time for Sonic. Uh, I know Nitro, does. Nitro's been getting a, doing a lot of work Stop with his battle. Belmont, but you know what? Oh, it's time to clock in on Sonic. Nah, man. We, 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 it wasn't working! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe the boss hasn't even cleared him out for a 30-minute lunch yet, you know? Oh, so, all right. He's still, still on the clock, man. Going to try to make that Richter hopefully work here. And he nearly starts off with Holy Water. Oh, man, that Pikmin uh, able to just take the Holy Water like a boss. Yeah, took it with him. See, this is what it's talking about, right? He's trying to set the control game in play, but the problem is the Pikmin attached to him are getting Iron a little bit of victory that Iron gets when he's away, when he's spaced himself away from Richter. Across and, wow, all three Pikmin uh, approaching Nitro. <laughs> it looked like a gang war, man. You got three of them on one unit, and the boss just kind of standing back. That, feel that, fun. Was, that was definitely, I'm pretty sure I heard one of the Pikmin say, wrong neighborhood. Yeah, wrong, wrong neighborhood, bro. <laughs> You're on our turf. And Nitro again on his ledge, but using the forward air to recover. I like it. We're starting to see less. Item play come out from that drone, a lot more trapped with the whip. Even at the ledge, you can see that he was recovering the forward air. Now, being within a certain distance, trying to go for the down air, trying to go for the forward air, uh, but falling. By the way, I'm just going to make a quick note. This is actually my favorite, like, Final Destination song. It's the Final Destination song from uh, uh, Super Smash Bros. 64. Yeah, it's the final, yeah. So 60, Super Smash Bros. 64 had this song as their final destination. It's actually my favorite one out of all of them. Except for Melee. Let's go back into the game here. Okay, sets up the cross there. Not even much, and just gets the up the out of shield. I mean, that's a good option, but outside of saying get off me and give me some room to breathe, it doesn't do much else. Right? Yeah. It's better than the ladder, right? Like, if you can't get the parry, if you can't get the, if you're worried about getting the grab right, just get him off me and then I'll find another situation in my back there. Sets up the holy water, reads the high option. Finally, Nitro getting some opportunity here with the stock. I mean, hopefully not a little too late as I mean, already has two points on the board. That's right. With that purple pigment on, you know, who the back air connecting. Or I'm hit. Nitro is taking a good amount of damage, just trying to get back onto the stage. But now it's time to turn the table as, as uh, Nitro continues to yell at him to take it. Uh, man, uh, I'm here pretty much taking a different tune, saying we're not gonna take it. I'm just gonna sit here, sit pretty with your toys, and I'll find another situation. See, just right there, he knows he doesn't have to do much. Space himself, maybe toss him to pick in one or two, and then immediately will win a little bit. And you know what? Even better is that I'm here. Is looking for the grab. Yeah. He was waiting for Nitro to throw out something, a forward air on his shield, or something that was a little bit too unsafe, and yeah. then get that grab. And guess what? Blue Pikmin is next in line. He's looking for it once again. Oh, he didn't get the grab! Oh, we didn't find some other option there. Up smash will take it. I mean, I feel like Nitro knows, like, hey, he might be looking for the end lag of one of my moves, and I can hopefully cover his cross up with up tilt, right? Because the high option there. But unfortunately, like, I am just gonna have to play a little bit differently, and he knows, like, hey, if I don't have to go anywhere, I can just stay here. Right. Staying there right now is the best option as uh, he keeps continuing to get thrown in the air. Even the cross coming back and interrupting his pressure at the ledge. Jab one, two, and Ooh. wow, both players jumping in each other's face. Cross, holy water, and I am trying to go for the grab, getting Nitro an opportunity finally to tie up the stocks. See a big up B, no punish from I him. But a purple pigment gonna interrupt that back air. Wow, S match connecting. Now we see more f tilts coming out from Nitro. A lot of fire. All the moves that, uh, that Nitro's throwing out is not keeping up with the damage that I'm hit putting out. Another up B. Uh, out of shield. Alright, another cross. Finally, Nitro able to recover with that tether back throw. I'm hit looking for a possible setup off stage play. Yeah, that, that broke the Pikmin had connected. That would have been game over for Nitro. But Nitro still in here. Game three, trying to get put one on the board. See the blue Pikmin is next up. It has a flower. You know it's super strong. Take this. They're trying to play the slow, this. slow and steady game here, but that roll get up wasn't going to be the option that you might have been looking for. Nitro moving one step closer to moving to possible game four. He's stalling himself, and he's able to get away from the forest match. Comes back with his own. That's right. 